and the slowing Brazilian economy is taking its toll on the country's real estate market. It's not a crisis yet, but there is concern about what may be ahead. CCTV's Paulo Cabral has this report. Times are tough in Brazil. Real estate agents like Tiago da Silva are looking for customers wherever they are. Brazilians are still buying property, but not as much as a few years ago. The market is okay. Of course, the economy is slowing down, so it worsens a bit, but we are still selling. According to IPEA, the government's Office of Economic Research, there is a deficit of more than 5 million housing units in Brazil. The high demand, combined with government incentives and more access to credit, kept the industry's steady growth over the last decade. But now there are signs that the market is cooling. Real estate prices are spiraling. Brazilian banks report there are fewer home loans. Between August 2013 and July 2014, lending grew 14.5 percent, well below the 24 percent from the previous year. Between July and August this year, there was a drop of 12 percent. Real estate prices are also declining. People who bought property in 2007 or 2008 made a lot of money because prices at least doubled since then. Nowadays, the market is cooling down, so people looking for a good deal can find something if they do good research. Analysts say investors are already looking for more profitable options. Large and expensive properties are the hardest to sell nowadays, as first-time buyers, many with government subsidies, are moving into the market. If you look at the market today, the only apartments that they are selling are the very, very small one with about 30 to 40 uh, square meters. In this case, the price doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the payment, uh, this monthly payment. Over the last 10 years, Brazil managed to reduce its housing deficit and at the same time boost its construction industry. But if the economy doesn't pick up, forecasters say it will be hard for its people to become homeowners in the short term. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.